Welcome to Beta Creations. In this video, I am going to teach you three important topics in VLSI, PTL, CPL and TGL. So first let me start with PTL, Power Transfer Logic. So why we are using Power Transfer Logic? We are using Power Transfer Logic uh, to reduce the number of transistors used. I will explain this with a simple example. So Let's start with NOR gate implementation. Let's start with uh, NOR gate implementation first. So how to implement a NOR gate using PMOS and NMOS. So in uh, for implementing NOR gate, we need two PMOS in series. And we need two NMOS in parallel in order to obtain an OR gate. So, right now we are having so right now we obtained an OR gate implementation. So as I told earlier, right now we got an OR gate implementation. So how to obtain an OR gate as OR gate from this NOR gate. So to, in order to obtain or gate from this NOR gate just give this to an AND an AND uh, sorry a, to an inverter to give to an inverter which is gonna by connect doing by connecting a PMOS and CMOS in parallel uh, sorry NMOS in parallel so we obtained uh, using the inverter we obtained the OR gate from the NOR gate y equal to a plus b over here so here in order to obtain OR gate we are using 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 transistors we are using 6 transistors we are uh, using to get OR gate using NMOS and PMOS but the same thing we, but the same uh, OR gate we can uh, by using PTL power transfer logic it can be obtained with, use, by using only 2 transistors how to use PTL it's very simple we know the equation of OR getting uh, or gate y equal to a plus b now write the logic so obtaining or gate so right now we obtain the uh, logic now we, how to implement it first draw two transistors like this So now the basic step is write either A or B here. Make sure that if you are writing A, A complement comes here. If you are writing B here, B complements come here. So for easiness, I am taking A here and A complement here. So how to do the how to do the PTL? Uh, when we are giving A complement, we know A complement is zero. The output Y should be obtained. So when A is zero, we get in the output Y as zero one. So we are looking, we see that B is also 0, 1 and the same is obtained as output. So when A complement occurs, if you are giving B, the same thing is obtained as output. So we can write, like, uh, we can write B over here. Now by giving A, A we know 1, 1. When it's 1, 1, the output Y is obtained as 1, 1, which is A or 1. So we can write it as A or 1. So when A is 1, the output is obtained the same as that of A, so we can write either A or as it is both is 1, we can write it as 1. But here, and the same way, when A complement is given, what is uh, given in the B, the same thing is uh, obtained as output. When A is 0, that's A complement. What is given as the input, that is B, the same thing is obtained as output. So we can write it here as B. So the entire PTL, we see that only two transistors are used to implement or circuit, while, the, while, while we are using NMOS and PMOS. Uh, it takes almost 6 transistors so it's advantageous and convenient to use PTL over using NMOS and uh, CMOS, uh, NMOS and PMOS so that's the advantage of PTL now we can look at another problem using PTL taking another logic equation f equal to ab so first realize using uh, lo first re write the logic now realizing we can see that when a is 1 we see that 
what's given in b is obtained as the output so b is given so b is given as input and it is obtained same thing is obtained as output when a is equal to 1 and when a complement is given a complement is 0 at that time obtain uh, output is obtained as 0 when a complement is both uh, is 0 the output is 0 or the a itself so by giving 0 or a uh, we have obtained the output f is so the final location f is equal to a b can obtain by two transistors to here in, in this case in this problem you can see that uh, y is equal to a plus b complement using uh, implementing using ptl so first uh, write the logic of the equation a b b complement so while adding a and b complement we will get the output as 1 0 1 1 so how to implement it i am giving a and a complement at the gate you can take either a or b when you are taking b make sure that it is b and b complement or if you are taking a as i have done i take a and a complement over here so when a is given that is 1 is given you are getting the output as 1 1 so what you are giving at a that is 1 or 1 is obtained as the output as you see when a is given uh, 1 1 uh, the output obtained is 1 1 which is a itself or 1 so when a or 1 is given you can implement the, you can implement the circuit and now when a bar is at a bar that is at 0 zero when at a bar that is 0 0 when at a bar uh, the complement of uh, the b complement is obtained that is when a, 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 a we know that a bar is 0 so when a bar a complement is given well, the b complement is obtained at the output so b complement is 1 0 which is the same as obtained output so we are giving b complement here in order to obtain the output as 1 0 so we the equation is implemented using the ptl now we are going to the next problem y equal to a complement b plus a b complement in ptl we know that the logic of this is uh, 0 1 1 0 when uh, 0 1 or 1 0 comes 1 will come at output when the same uh, digit when either 2 0 both are 0 or both are 1 0 comes as output when different uh, come, uh, when different bits come that is either 1 or 0 come uh, output obtained as 1 1 so when a when a is given that is 1 1 given the output obtained is the complement of b as you see the b is 0 1 and the output obtained is a complement of b when a is given as a is given a1 a, that's not a bar a1 a that's one is given the complement of b is obtained so we can write as b complement so the output of will be obtained y will be obtained and when at a complement if you as you see a complement is given given the what is b it's obtained as output the input which is given as b is the same as obtained as output so b is given in order to obtain the y that's it it's very simple now we are going to some uh, b, uh, bit a uh, big problem using PTL. It's one of the important problem using PTL. In this problem, equation is y equal to a b plus c. So first write the logic of the equation given. So a b c y the output I have obtained. As you see, you, if you as you see, the output is obtained. So now the k map from this logic. From this logic, develop the k map. So I have developed. As you see, I have developed the k map. A, B, C is here. So A written as 0, 1 and uh, I have filled the necessary blocks using this output I have obtained. And now realize this uh, logic uh, UPTL using this K map. So as you see only 4 sets C, uh, B and C I have written like this. So 2 transistors like that I am using 8 transistors where 2 transistors are in series. So I am having 4 pa uh, parallel combination of 2 series transistors. So from this K map, what we have, what sh what we should do is to develop a um, circuit diagram like this. And as you and what you have to do next is this one is zero zero. So give B complement and C complement. As you see, A O is over here and B C is over here. So it's very simple. Uh, first we we see is zero zero. So give B complement C complement. So what uh, outputs obtained when zero zero is gi uh, given as in, uh, B complement C complement? And the its uh, output is 0 0, uh, 0 0 which is same as B and C. So B or C or 0 because when 0 0 is given uh, the output is obtained is also 0. So uh, B and C is also 0. So B or C or 0 can be given. Next is uh, 0 1 that is B complement C. So as you see when B complement C is given the output obtained is 1 1 which is C itself. So C is 1. And the output obtained is also 1. So we can give the input as either C or 1 to obtain this output. And at next step, 
as you see it's a uh, 1 0 b c complement over here 1 0 uh, b 1 0 b c complement then you see uh, the output doesn't match with both b and c instead it matches with a did you see that what is given as a that is 0 1 is the same obtained as the output 0 1 so you can give as input as a so when a is input is given you can obtain the output y as 0 1 that's a itself now the last b c that is 1 1 1 1 can be uh, realized as b c so when b c is given you see that b and c are both 1 and the output obtained is also 1 so i can write the input as either b or c or 1 in order to obtain the output y so combining these uh, all four uh, combinations you can obtain the equation y equal to a plus c a b plus c y equal to a b plus c can be obtained so in next video i will be uh, telling about the other uh, two logics thank you